Hello, BookTube. Hello. So, our next video is a book haul. Yay! It's a really good book haul, too. What you can't see is these piles of books in front of us. Yeah. These aren't just from one place. These are from a few different places. And over several different days, too. Yeah, it's not, it's over. Not, <laughs> this is not all just from today. Yeah, we, we have a ton. And um, I'm going to start. We did have somebody that told us we they like our book haul, so... Yeah, I like I like uh, I like doing them too. So I like book hauls too. Yeah, so we're gonna start with me, I guess, because again, I have a few more to show than Becky has. So um, I'm gonna start with a couple of biographies I got. I got this one. I believe didn't I get this at uh, Second Charles? I think yeah, so, I did yeah. today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a it's a book about Ari Dickey. It's called uh, Wherever I Wind Up. And it is about one of the uh, one of the last knuckleballers in baseball. The guy he was one of the last few to, to throw a knuckleball. I think anybody who knows me knows I'm a baseball fan. I'm a Cardinals fan, and uh, this is uh, you know this is one of the things I like to read about is baseball. So uh, wherever I wind up, I already Dickey. I'm excited about reading this. Mm -hmm. uh, like and I got one more baseball biography after this. I found this at Barnes and Noble, and it's called uh, "The Big Fella" by Jane Levy. Uh, I heard really good things about this. Um, there are a lot of a lot of Babe Ruth biographies out there, but this is one of the ones I'm really looking forward to. Pretty big, pretty pretty good sized book, but again, pretty excited about reading that. Um, the next one I got is a I guess it's a biography. Um, Biography. Yeah, Tom Clavin, Tom Clavin, whatever. Wild Bill, uh, the true story of the American frontier's first gunfighter. I like, I love reading about this stuff. I love westerns, so this would be uh, not exactly considered a western, you know. But b because most of the westerns, most of the stuff I read about the Wild West is fiction. This is a true story. But again, bought this brand new. I I'm really looking forward to reading it. And I got three more brand new um, buys here that I've bought over the last well, few weeks. Yeah. Uh, Ray Bradbury, The Illustrated Man. I'm a big Ray Bradbury fan. I read this when I was a kid. Uh, late teens, I would say. But I don't think I've read it since. Um, it's a book of... It's, it's kind of short stories. Kind of like a... <laughs> look at him. <laughs> kind of like um, uh, Martian Chronicles, which, which I really loved. Uh, so The Illustrated Man. Excited to read that. Thomas Harris Hannibal. Um, I'm, in our last video, I mentioned The Silence of the Lambs and Red Dragon, uh, but I haven't read this one, um, Hannibal. So I'll, re I'll be reading that pretty soon. Shame on you. Yeah, I know. I know. And I got the second book in the Doc Ford uh, novel, in the Doc Ford series by Randy Wayne White. Um, yeah. it's, a, it's a series about Florida. I um, really love the first one. So, and I, and I would definitely recommend... Uh, Randy Wayne White, he's he's a lot of fun. His books are a lot of fun. Um, yeah, they're like I said before, they're they're like a good version of uh, um, what's his name? Hmm. Having trouble with his name right now because I hate his book so much. Oh, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that book. <laughs> Whoops, dropped it. <laughs> Ditto. Okay. So I'll do my first Yeah, do your pile. first pile of books. I only, I only actually have a couple of brand new ones. Um, I have no idea why. Um, the first one is The Hunting Party by uh, Lucy Foley. It was actually suggested by someone at, at Barnes & Noble. We're walking in just sort of perusing novels, and he's like, Hey, would you like some recommendations? I was like, yes, I would. <laughs> so, and, and actually, uh, a lot of people would be very uh, fond of knowing that people in Barnes and Noble are starting to act like they know something about books. Yeah, see, we we, we got a guy who actually reads books. Yeah, at and, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, well, it's two crazy. of them. The guy that checked us out too. The uh, the guy that checked us out had read had read Big Fella, the the nice. Babe Ruth biography. Yeah. So, yeah, great. So this is this is it's it's sort of a country house mystery in a Scottish castle. You can't go wrong there. I, I, I'm actually really looking forward to reading that. And if I manage to get through my uh, March Mystery Madness uh, TBR, TBR, yeah, all of the acronyms, 
uh, TBR up here. I'm going to read this one and this one. This is The Haunting of Ashburn House. This even goes along with it. They even, oh, they both go along with the March Mystery Madness prompts. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, this one is a, it's a haunted house book. It is right in my wheelhouse. And this That's author. Five words in the title. Yeah. Um, and the other one is uh, published in 2020. <laughs> um, this author, she writes a lot of haunted house books. So I'm really, Link, stop shaking the table. So I'm really looking forward to uh, finding some more of her books. I looked at Second and Charles today and they didn't have any. So I'm going to have to order some online. Yeah. Um, and another one. Because that was like, what, 16 or $17. So. Yeah, that one's, that one's expensive. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Barnes & Noble had a... Uh, sale going. It was buy one get one fifty percent off on yeah. the, on these. So on got these, really uh, good sale. Yeah, on. yeah, really good. Now this one is called The Palms by Clay Anderson. Now Clay Anderson, he actually owns and runs a uh, a little bookshop in Delanigo. So what's it called? The book, the bear. Um, the, the bear, bear bear bookshop. Oh, that was a heavy southern accent. The the bear bookshop. Oh my, I am so sorry. Um, but he, he, he went, he went to my, uh, my alma mater, Kennesaw, Kennesaw State University. Alma mater. Alma, did I mater? say mater? Oh, How Lord. southern are you? I'm tired. Let's see there. There's this picture. I'm That's tired. what it looks like. I'm tired while southern. <laughs> my alma mater. <laughs> he had me a major sandwich at my alma mater. Um, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to reading this one. I'm, I'm we might put it on our, our, uh. Um, it, it sounds like a really good character. April TBR, I think, April is, TBR, is, is yeah. what we're going to do. Um, yeah. It sounds like a really good character-driven storyline. I, I, I rather like that. I'm looking yeah. forward to reading this one. Me too. That's all of my uh, brand new books, I think, yeah. Okay, do you want me to start? Do you yeah, want to go, go with some more? Yeah, go for it. I, like I said, I have, I have more. Yeah, so, do uh, Yeah. And uh, speaking of classics, I got a new classic, uh, the, the Awakening and Selected Stories of Kate Chopin. This, surprisingly, I didn't have this. I see it all the time. Um, but I'm always like, I'll just get it next time. But no, I got it this time. Because I think I got this for a dollar. So you can't beat that. Um, and I, I cannot get out of a bookstore without <laughs> Star Trek books. <laughs> so today I got uh, Star Trek Ice Trap. I've had this on my in my uh, eBay cart before. And I never bought it. Because I don't have good luck buying books from eBay. They come in the tatter and the covers not just tattered. I don't mind tattered. It looks it's like they've been used, by, used as hockey pucks. Yeah, they do. And and they look like they've been left in the sun for weeks. And they just look terrible. Um, this is considered one of the best Star Trek books ever. I'm not the biggest fan of the Next Generation books. But, uh, but oh, I, I am. I've heard really good things. Oh, I like them. Well, I'm I've only not, read one. Yeah, I'm not as big a fan of those as I am the the um, original series books. But yeah. uh, M. Zotti, uh, by Peter David is the author. And he is a pretty celebrated Star Trek novelist. Um, I would say he's like one of my favorites. Well, the one I, I read guess. was fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a great one. That's, it was awesome. It was. I don't remember the name of it, though. I, I wish I did. Uh, and Star Trek Deep Domain, this is the, the number 33 of the Star Trek, the uh, original series um, novels. It's a very unflattering picture of Chekhov. Yeah, but it's still, it is. It's weird. <laughs> but, it, but it's still a cool, pretty cool cover. I like it a lot. I need to find out who draws these. This, I mean, it's still a nice cover. And they all seem to be different. I don't understand why they went with a beardless Riker on the front of the M. Zadi book, though. Yeah. That just seems wrong. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, and one of my favorite authors, uh, Arthur C. Clarke, I got three books by him. I paid next to nothing for these. I got, got this for less than a couple of dollars. Um, and it was, uh... What is it? Earthlight. Oh, yeah, Earthlight. One I haven't read. Very short book. I mean, this thing has uh, 153 pages, 155 pages. It's an anti tungster Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, and I got another one just about like it with 100, and it's, and I think it's actually shorter because it was 159 pages, but there are a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, blank pages in here and there, chapter breaks and stuff. One more Arthur C. Clarke book, The Songs of Distant Earth. Uh, another one I haven't read, believe it or not. Even though I say I'm an Arthur C. Clarke fan and I've never read this, that's weird. So so I'm going to remedy that pretty soon. I think you can be forgiven. Yeah. And I just got three more in this pile. Uh, the Religious Body by Catherine Aird. This was the first Catherine Aird uh, mystery. So pretty excited about reading this. The lady is still writing books at 80, 89 years old. Oh, nice. 
So I find that just really cool. I hope really to still cool. be writing books when I'm 89 years yeah, old. Yeah, no kidding. I well, hope you get one written before you're 89. Right? right? Yeah. That would be nice. So, yep, very cool. Uh, this one has been recommended by Steve Donahue a lot. Um, so I figured... Um, Why not? I found it at... Uh, Second that, Charles? No, it wasn't Second Charles. It was that little bookstore we stopped at after Second Charles. I uh, can't remember what It's Gaudy about. Night. It's um, one of the bigger, thicker uh, Lord Peter Whimsey books, which is one of my favorite detective uh, series. Great. Dor Dorothy Sayers is just excellent. It wasn't and, Once and Again books, was it? It's like downtown Gainesville. No, I don't remember what it's called. I don't remember. We'll have to get the name. Yeah. I don't remember. But this is one, I want to know if anybody out there has read it. It's The White Rabbit. It's by... Bruce Marshall. So I know I'm sure Steve Donahue's read it. So if he sees his video, um, can you let me know what you think of it? I have no idea. Um, but I'm pretty excited about reading it. Actually, it looks it looks and sounds really good. It's a true story of World War II. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's a book I want to I want to get in pretty soon. So you go ahead with your next. So with the exception of one book, the rest of my books are all mysteries. <laughs> well. <laughs> We'll start with the Agatha Christie's, how about? Um, so we found out, well, sort of Agatha Christie. It's, it's an Agatha Christie companion, Complete Guide to Agatha Christie's Life and Work by Dennis Sanders and Pay Lynn less than $2 Lovala. for that book. Yeah. It's a great, great book. I can't wait to yeah, it's got, dive um, into it. All of her novels, plays, uh, or it has a summary and plot lines and stuff of all of her novels, plays, and movies. Yeah. It's a great companion. Probably something... You read about it, you read about the book before you start the book, and then you have great, this great information when you start yep. into the main book. I like that idea. Um, the second one I found, I was excited to find this one. I found it at Second and Charles today. It's The Murder on the Links by Agatha Christie. And who? Oh, Lord, who was it that said I should read it? Um, oh, it was, uh, Storm, oh, it was Storm, Storm Reads. Yeah. Storm, it was Storm Reads, so it was Stormy. Um, Says she had, had just read this and loved it. We'll put a link to her video, uh, her videos down here uh, in the, the comments. Just, yeah. Um, she, she said she absolutely loved this, and it's a Hercule Porter mystery. I mean, how can you not? Yeah. I can't wait to get into it. It looks like it's about golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great little copy of this. Yeah, it I is. I like it. It is. We, um, we found a lot of gems today, and a lot, a lot of these we actually got on clearance for like 50 cents, 25 cents, a dollar. Yeah. Like these are um, Margaret Erskine novels, Number Nine, Belmont Square, and Harriet's Inspector Farewell. Inspector Finch novels. We haven't read these, um, I've never so heard I'm of them. I'm pretty pretty stoked about trying these things because these seem like our kind of books. Look at that cover. Yeah. How awesome is that? Look at look at this one. I believe they're British mysteries. Um, yeah. Yeah. They look maybe like maybe some, country house mysteries. Maybe I don't know. They look so good. Yeah, they do. I, just by Great the cover covers. alone, I'm looking forward to reading Excellent these. Excellent covers. I, I just love them. I love me a good British mystery. Um, the next one That's is... kind of the same. Yeah. It, a Case of Murder and the Great... It's, it's another British mystery. Mm -hmm. It's a crime novel. Alive and Dead by E.X. Farrars. The cover, it's, it's kind of upsetting. Yeah. Uh, really kind of upsetting. It's... Whew. So was the other one I had. The, uh, the first E.X. Farrars book I bought last yeah. time we were there. We we got them for a quarter a quarter a piece. It, it actually looks like a real crime scene. It's 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 kind of, yep, creepy. But again, a good British novel. Yep. Speaking of which, I th although I don't think the author is, is British here, um, it, is she not? I don't think so. Oh no, she is. Okay. She's a film commentator on BBC. I I wonder which. Cotswolds caught in a Cotswolds cottage with her husband M C Beaton does. So, yeah, she's British. Terribly British. This is the first Hamish Macbeth novel, M.C. Beaton, Death of a Gossip. Um, I've been looking forward, I've been looking forward for this book and um, the the first of her Agatha Race novels. I haven't found the first of the Agatha Race novels used yet. I will. It yeah. will happen. Um, and I'm really excited about this because I, well, she's got like 45 books out. That are Agatha Raisin and MC and, and MC Beaton <laughs> and uh, Hamish Macbeth. So I'm really looking forward to this because she's been going for a long time on these two series. And um, I, I feel like I need to catch up. Yep. And 
Yeah, we'll stop there. You go okay. with your next pile. All right. So, uh, first things I'm going to oh. show here on these piles are, I got these, I think, from eBay over the last few months. Uh, I found the first Rompole Omnibus by John Mortimer. I've had these uh, recommended to me forever, uh, the, the Rompole books. And so, I'm going to read these. I found this one, and I got this one as well, the second Rompole Omnibus. Um, I don't know if they're all short stories. There might be a couple of novels in here. I'm not sure. Like short novels. Um, but this is one author I am excited to read. And I, and I just can't wait to read them. A so. couple of really pretty penguin omnibi. Yeah, they are. And we got, and I got In Search of Lost Time, Volume 2, uh, Within a Budding Grove by Proust. And again, on, my, on our last haul video, I had found a copy of this, but it was crap. So now I get to, I get to uh, upgrade the, the novel. The other one was just, uh, it, it was not acid-free paper, and it was just, it, it was going to hell. It looked so, like it had been set on fire. It did. It looked, it looked really bad. It's kind of rough. Yep. Um, I found this as well at uh, uh, Goodwill, Tales of the yeah. Dying Earth. It's uh, um, It has all four Dying Earth novels in this one copy and it says 20 bucks on the back i got it for i think a dollar 45 or something it's a pretty book too it is very, very nice pretty, yeah. um i got a copy of something i haven't read uh but but i really need to get to is lolita uh vladimir Novikov. i've read lolita have you yeah i didn't know that yep read it in college okay wasn't a fan I'm gonna cover up part of this cover don't want to get in trouble on facebook um, Goldfinger, Ian Fleming, James Bond novel. I don't know if it's... I think Dr. No was the first James Bond movie. Um, and I have a copy of the book as well. She's, she's only kind of new. given to me by a friend. Yeah, kind of. Close enough that I need to cover it up. For she's classily YouTube. covered up <laughs> with yeah. other body parts. And I'm trying to collect all these books. Uh, and, and, and I'm about to start reading these. The, Queen, uh, Phil, Phil, the Philippa Gregory uh, Tudor novels. Um, pretty, pretty nice covers on all of these. They they look really cool, mm -hmm. um, and you can find them anywhere. Like I, I've gotten all of these used for I'd say less than less than two bucks each. Um, and the color. last of Cover. this pile, then I got one more small pile. Um, the name of the rose by Umberto Eco. Uh, novel I've been excited to read for a long time. Yeah, me too. I'm actually really looking yeah. forward to this one. It's a it's like it's it's like a good Dan Brown story. Is it like a twelfth century murder mystery or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Something but, like that. But it's like I mean, Dan Brown only good. So yeah, dying to get that in there, weren't you? I was. <laughs> Dan Brown sucks. I like Dan Brown. Yeah, he sucks. Okay. Your turn. All right, okay. So I found at Second and Charles some more of my uh, Su Susan Conant books. That she does the the, the dog lovers mystery. And if you're a dog lover, I mean a, a true dog lover, you really, really love dogs. Like they're your life. She's the woman for you. She's a dog trainer. Loves her Alaskan Malamutes. And honestly, about half of the, the story, story just sort of goes to the wayside because she's talking about dogs. Constantly talking about dogs. And she treats dogs like people. It's amazing. I, I, I really like these books. They're very, very different than most cozy mysteries. They're, they're not quite as cozy. Um, as she goes along, as the books get older, or as the books get more and more current, they get a little cozier and cozier. But she's got some pretty hard-hitting novels in here with her, uh, her dog lover mysteries. But I love the, the name Stud Rights and Annual Appetite and Roughly Speaking... Roughly, it's the name of a dog. <laughs> Love it. Um, we also found this really interesting book. It's called The English Country House Murders. Yeah. A classic crime fiction of Britain's upper crust. Edited by Tom Godfrey. And it's got such authors as Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, Robert Barr, uh, G.K. Chesterton, Agatha Christie, Dorothy L. Sayers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see. P.G. Woodhouse. Marsh. Where, where? Oh, Guyo Marsh, yeah. Lots of... P.D. James is in here. Lots of really good, 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 good isn't, authors. Isn't Orsi in there as well? 
horsey. I don't know. It's too fun. But I'm, oh yeah, right there. In Mosca, Baroness Orxy. Yeah. I love a good country house mystery. Love it. Love the cla claustrophobia of it all. Um, so I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to dive face first into that. And now for my one mystery book that, or my one non-mystery book. It's a Lord of the Rings. By it, it's the movie version, but we've been wanting a, a one volume uh, Lord of the Rings for a while. I wish it had the Hobbit in it, but I think it may have been a little bit cumbersome if it if they'd put the Hobbit in it. Yeah. In in the same uh, volume, so what, yeah, and the and the uh, and they would have had to have made the print a lot smaller. Yeah. So I'm glad they didn't. So I found a, a couple of books by Roberta Roberta Isleep. Um, they're an advice column mystery series and this is the first and the second one uh deadly advice and preaching to the corpse so it's about an advice columnist i'm there um they're cozy mystery so i'm really really looking forward to these that i've never heard of them a psychological suspense tale um which i think will be really good i also found another of my uh, donna andrews books i've got a couple up here her books are so much fun they all have birds in the title um and i can't wait to read them but uh you're about to start reading one, aren't you? No. The, the first one. No, it's not my. The, it, it didn't meet any of the March Mystery Madness prompts. Oh. I wish I did. It was called Murder with Peacocks. <sighs> but this one is called Crouching Buzzard Leaping Loon. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the fourth book in the series. I have not found the fourth one, which is uh, the, the Revenge of the... The first one. The, no, the the third one, actually. I've got the first and the second oh, okay. one. And the fourth one now, but the, the second one, the third one is The Revenge of the Wrought Iron Flamingos. Okay. Fun. <laughs> I love it. Then there's um, Madeline Alts. This is the second in the series. I haven't got the first one. We're, go we're going to be ordering it because I've, I can't find it anywhere. Um, I haven't read this series, and it's Paranormal, which is Cozy Mystery. It's right up my wheelhouse. So, I really need to read this series. And my last book is not a cozy mystery. I know. You're surprised. You don't have to say it so loud. It's the first Sebastian St. Cyr mystery by C.S. Harris. Um, Where it's, angels what? Uh, what, a, what? What angels, angels fear. fear. Okay. Um, I haven't... I've never even heard of these. But it, they're set in 1811 in King George's England. Sebastian St. Cyr is a, he's a nobleman, but also a, a mystery unraveler. So I'm, I found this really, really interesting. So I can't wait to dive into this. I think it'll be fun. Yeah, it, it does sound really good. Yeah. Okay, my last three books, um, believe it or not. We have a book by Victoria Holt, Snare of Serpents. Um, I think I ordered this from eBay. Yeah, and it's a really nice hardcover copy. Um, but this is also known as Jean Plady, Victoria Holt. She's, she writes under, I think, seven or eight different pseudonyms, something like that. And this one sounded really good. Um, it's kind of a kind of a mystery, kind of a uh, um, suspense kind of kind of novel. So I'm, I'm excited about reading that. I'm I could sure add this to my March Mystery Madness. It's got 410 pages. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you if you have time, you can. I'll probably yeah, you have already time. have a bunch. Star Wars: Cloak of Deception. Found this um, today, and it's a uh, you know anybody who knows me really well knows I love Star Wars and I collect Star Wars books. I have probably I'd say close to fifty Star Wars novels now, something like that. Out of hundreds, there are hundreds of them out there. They're not all great, believe me. They're they're just not. But there are some of them that are really good, and I like James Lucino, the author. Um, I'd say he's one of the better Star Wars authors, and um, is actually um, uh, one of the more complex Star Wars writers. Yeah. Um, so his, his books are not all fluff, like some of them. Yeah, if we ever leave a, a used bookstore without a Star Wars or a Star Trek book, one of us is probably dead. Yeah, it's not going to happen unless, unless they just don't have them. <laughs> There's some, yeah, like, unless they're just not there, which Goodwill, is pretty rare. Actually. Goodwill doesn't usually have them. Yeah, but it's, uh, but it's kind lot, of not really anywhere else does. Yeah. Uh, Star Wars: The Mandalorian Armored. This is the first book of the Bounty Hunter Wars. Haven't read this series. Um, it's part of the Legends. So, I like what, the look of that one. What, what Legends means is that uh, Disney no longer recognizes the story as 
part of the canon. Who cares? Still, still good stuff. Um, yeah. And I, I'm, I'm going to get this in possibly in May. Um, I'm going to have, have to get some help in coming up with a, with a May TBR, but that's okay. I'll ask for everybody's help with that one. We got when I, when I let you know what, what we're, we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna have a good book 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 tag for that month. I yep. think. Yep, we're gonna have yeah. a book tag coming in May, and hopefully everybody's up for that because we're gonna tag a whole lot of people. Yeah. So, yeah. Is that it? That's it. That's all of them. Yeah, because that's not enough at all. Yeah, no, and it's twenty five minutes after a thirty minute one. So, <laughs> yeah, two of our longest videos. Mm -hmm. Sorry if that if that bothers you, but. We enjoy we enjoy them. But there are so you, you, many good you books. You can skip through if you don't like to watch the whole video, so that that's fine too. Doesn't hurt our feelings. Mhm. Mm so, hopefully you enjoyed it. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Yeah. So anyway, your books are calling. Go read.